All right, y'all. I told y'all I was gonna do um an episode about um answering some questions that y'all asked me. Um, it wasn't that many of y'all. I'm surprised because y'all have y'all y'all some slick wanna be private motherfuckers. Cause y'all asked me a whole bunch of shit in the DMs. I mean, you flood the DMs morning, noon, and night with your shit, and then I say, ask me a question under the post, and ain't nobody got shit to say. That is crazy to me. Anyway. I'm giving everybody a shout out. Who did answer? Um, question number one. Brittany underscore nine. Why do women always run back? Girl, you know the answer to this. Stop playing. You know the reason is nine times out of ten. Um, for me, for this word about to bust my ass. Familiarity. <laughs> Familiarity. Um, yeah. Um, you know, convenience. Um, you know, it's... That's it. It's it's familiar and convenient, and not necessarily uh, comfortable. But you know, you know what to expect. It ain't. It's no surprises there. You know, um, sometimes, like I said, convenience because they always there, whether it be male or female, always there. Convenience. You know, um, you know, you know what's going. You know the ins and out already. You didn't been there, done that. You know. Feelings then been probably stepped on and, and everything. Y'all done been through a lot of shit, so it ain't too much that could surprise you, you know, versus moving on to deal with possibly the same shit. I'm not saying one is, I'm not saying that going backwards is, is better. That's not what I'm saying. I'm only answering. Brittany underscore nine question. Um, Because I think, you know, exes are exes for reasons. Although sometimes... You know, it be the um, right person, wrong time. I do believe in it. But, um, yeah, that's most of the time that's the reason why. Just because it's familiar. We Just like we keep old friends around that we've outgrown, you know. Uh, the, the same friends that we don't really, you know, fuck with like that, but we have a good time with. Versus picking, it's the same shit. We just know what to expect. Or oh, I know when I go with her, it's going to be X, Y, Z. Um, and girl, I know you know, stop playing, because you probably with an ex right now. Um, video underscore girl underscore chops. Video underscore girl underscore chops. Why do women want beef with, with you after you start messing with their ex? Why do women want beef with you after you start messing with their ex? The same reason you be going look you you didn't went looked at another bitch when your nigga didn't fucked up on you, you know. Just like I see, that's one thing that I do realize about us. Uh, you know, a lot of times we be forgetting, cause I ain't gonna stunt like I wasn't never on no bitch page. Like my younger days, I, I am gonna say younger days, cause like now nah, I don't really I don't give a fuck. I don't be giving a fuck about none of that type of shit, but. Before, yeah, I need to see. You know, I need to at least, because I want to do my homework, period. I want to see what this bitch got going on that I don't have going on. And I need to, I need to see all of that. I want to know, period. Like, and with some, and, and what I realized, because uh, I'm going to explain both sides. With some, it be beef because... The, we don't understand the man places that there. Because if without him, you wouldn't know about her, she wouldn't know about you. So he places whatever the fuck those feelings are on the most bitter party. So nine times out of ten, when the ex be wanting beef, you know, it depends on how, it could depend on a, a number of things, how you got the nigga. Did you take him from her? 
was um I mean, you know, was, was you intertwining with her turn? Because then that matters. That that makes a big difference. Bitch. Fuck you mean. Um like I said, aside from the man, you know, in the situation that, that y'all had prior to you and him getting together, um, aside from the shit he didn't he didn't put in her head or he didn't made her think or the way he may be making this thing. Because you got to realize, sometimes nigga be in a relationship with a woman. Uh, uh, sometimes a man will be in a relationship. I'm trying to change up my verbiage, y'all. See, I'm struggling, bitch. Help me. Help me, bitch. Because, you know, I'm saying bitch and nigga. And then every time I say nigga, they say man. That's the difference. You, tell, you ain't talking about a man. And then when I say man, then I got bitches saying nigga. Like, what the fuck? A bitch, is a, ma- uh, a bitch could be a man or a woman. Because most of y'all niggas act like bitches anyway. But I ain't going to go today. I'm going to stick with the subject right now. Um, But y'all got to realize some men be in relationships with their girl and be broke down, don't have shit, you know, um, penny pension or cheap or whatever, and then they move on to the next woman, and they splurging. Now, she, all she know, the ex know, is she see you, and don't talk about having factoring in a kid, if the ex have a kid. That's a whole nother situation, because now it's not necessarily – me about me watching you but i mean at the same time yeah um what's what's going on because we was it was 50 50 over here i was you know it was a partnership over here i was taking pennies and here it is you you splurging like this was probably the whole situation over here that probably was the whole one of the biggest you know discrepancies in the relationship no telling you 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 just really you Everybody have their reasons, you know. And some bitches is just bitter. You know, some bitches just just cannot, just, they cannot, they will not, they just hate to see their ex moving on, being happy without them. But I can, I, I can guarantee you, you know, and most of the time, bitch don't even want the nigga for real. She don't want him. She just don't want you with him. She don't want you with them. And, and, you know, so I'm going to do whatever to, um, you know, make him feel a way about her or, you know, to put him in a situation to make him miserable or make him choose. Or, but like I say, most of the time it's the narrative that the man create. It be the time that you came in on. It be, um, you know, the situation that, um, you know, then put y'all, that have y'all too at, at eyes. Because first of all, why y'all even have anything going on? Like, it, it it shouldn't even be no connection there to even be be for real, you know. Like, um. However, on the other hand, sometimes it be the opposite way. You know, the new girl come in hating on the old bitch, and the old bitch be like, "I'm so happy." You didn't took them off my hand. You know how I many bitches that still don't like me over niggas that I didn't fuck with? That I never fuck with? <laughs> the number is always full. Like, bitches, never let go. Like, bitch, come on now. I didn't, I didn't fuck with 50 niggas over past this nigga. And you still don't like me over this? I didn't forgot. I didn't fucked with him. That's how long the hate go when it come down to a nigga. I'm telling you, it's deep. So sometimes... You know, it be the new bitch hating on the old bitch. It don't necessarily be the old bitch hating and bitter and mad all the time. That don't be the case all the time. I know we try to, you know, paint that picture, but that don't would that don't be the that don't always be the thing either. You know, like I say, because some y'all come in the door, y'all be blinded, you know, and that's what I tell um, exes all the time. Like, you mad for what? You have all these lists of, you have this whole list of complaints. You have uh, this whole um, list of odds and, 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 and turmoil and hurt that you didn't went through. 
um, as compared to all the happy times and the good shit. And you mad about somebody taking them off your hands. You got the ups on the new bitch because the new bitch have no idea. She got to start from scratch. Whenever you do start, Brittany underscore nine, going back to your question, whenever you start, you start, if you decide to pick up and fuck with them again, that's experience. You already know a thing or two about a thing or two. Bitch, should be, bitch you should be calling me. Hello? Yeah, what you say? He like on his own burger. Bitch, you need my help. Okay? I could tell you all the tricks and the trades and the lies. You know when you looking at him. You know how to, how his, how his, uh, his disposition and it. You, you know how all of that... Look, you know, without even looking. Like, you you know those things. So you you two steps ahead, if not ten. So, you know, it don't really be no reason for real to, to really hate. You just, it be the time with women. Like, you know, we want, we want to see shit when we want to see shit. And especially if a nigga did you wrong, you the ex-child. Look, nigga ain't change overnight. So just because he went fuck with a new bitch and putting smiles on her face, remember that's the same shit that was putting smiles on your face in the beginning. You went through the whole trial era and realized you don't want the subscription. Period. The end. So, you know, the beef be unnecessary like a motherfucker. Although some bitches do deserve to get smacked across the room. I'm going to just say it. I, I just... I don't condone bullying. I don't condone bullying. But some bitches deserve to get smacked. Bopped. Like the Mario coins bopped out the head. That's how hard. Because you just a ball of confusion. You wasn't happy with them. You ain't happy without them. Now you won't make me unhappy. Like, bitch, you just won't go away. Like, why did I even... And, you know, the for the new bitch, why do I even have to know about you? If he's not... If he didn't make me know anything about you, why am I knowing anything? Why are you following me? Why are your friends following me? You know, it's just, it's not necessarily a ex versus new bitch thing. It's a woman thing. You know, it's a woman thing. It's not, it's not like this group versus, it's not, it's a woman thing. It just depends on that individual. It's just not all exes is bitter. It's like some new bitches get in their position, get the nigga they been wanting or fucking with on the low all this time. You finally got them, bitch. You done been with them through six relationships. They he is. And I... You about to look over your shoulder the whole relationship? At, back at me when you was just laughing at me. I was just stupid for being this, that, and the third. And now you not stupid because now you're in a position to do this, that, and the third, what I was doing. So now that don't make you stupid for doing the same thing that I was doing. You was calling me stupid for, you know, it's a woman thing. It's not an ex versus a new bitch. It's, you know, it's just bitches, you know. It's, that's it. I, I don't know. Uh, that was for video underscore girl underscore chops. Um, Brandon Miguel. Oh, I know who that is. Twin. What pivotal point experience made you change your mindset and grow into what we see today? Uh, it ain't no one thing. It's a lot. It's a lot. Growth. Um, me having, uh, children that like people don't understand. That's why I don't, I just saw a post, um, somewhere that said, um, that people with kids should not be giving out advice about kids. I strongly believe that. Cause I just feel like it's a lot of things that this is, and I feel like this based off of experience before I had children, it was so many things that I said that I would not do. Oh, no, I looked down up on. And then when I had children, it was totally different. It's like it's one of those things where you don't really know how you feel until you going through, until you actually experience it. Because you can say a whole bunch of shit from the outside, but when you in it, that's totally different. That is different. 
when you you got two, three children running around here versus a bitch who don't have no children trying to tell me what I should do and how I should. It looked that easy for, for you, but it may not be that easy for me. You make it may, you know, you might have an excellent standpoint, but it may not be doable for me with kids. The one that's actually dragging kids along, you know? So, um, I just, I, I, it, it's not, it's not one thing. It's, it's a, a multiple, it, it's a bunch of things that, um, you know, that, that shaped me, that whipped me into shape. Cause you know, I'm, I gotta learn by, well, I used to have to learn by experience. Uh, you know, I, I'm teachable, so I I listen. But you know, based off of my emotions, because I wasn't emotionally intelligent either, so I had to learn. You know, while I go through, and depending on how I felt, I knew I'm not going through this again. So those are the type of things that they really whipped me and changed my mindset into what you see today. Just experiences, just, you know, day-to-day growth. Um, realizing that, like I said, children, my children are the most important thing to me like on this planet. Without them, baby, y'all y'all probably wouldn't know me. <laughs> y'all wouldn't know me cuz um I I don't know what I'd be doing, but I I know I, I know this probably ain't, ain't it. You know, I have so many thoughts and shit in my head that um you know boy life, life, life just life like this past year or this this the past two years um been really life changing um the learning experiences life changing and big shit ain't even been happening it's just me looking at how other people uh think and operate and you know, just trying to have a better understanding as to why um things are the way that they are and why, you know, um I I go through certain things and you know, like the re like actually sitting down, like to figure to really see myself going through situations because a lot of times we go through shit and we don't really know how we got out of it, but we just, you know, we we thank all we out of it and that's that. No lesson, no nothing. We just wanted to get out of it so bad that, but I take a, I, I make everything out of a teachable moment. So that's what I, like these past two years really been it for me, especially with, um you know, going to therapy as well. Um, Talking about, I really think that every body should at least experience, a, you know, a therapy session or two because you never really know what the fuck really bother you for real until you talk about it and like hear yourself, you know, and like really sit with yourself. You know, a lot of times uh, y'all jump from nigga to, you know, bitch to, you know, man, the woman to this to that. You know, different cities, different states. You you constantly moving around. You ain't never had that space by yourself to really know what it is that you like or really know who you are for real. So you just, you know, chameleon now. Just moving around, just ch- constantly changing, but you ain't changing. You know, your mindset's still the same. And for me, I ain't really been nowhere. Past two, three years, and I just been feel like I'm sitting still, but everything just spinning. So that's, you know, just taking it all in, taking everything in. That's what it it, it whooped me into. It, it whooped me here. Like, especially uh, to be able to um, accept um, accountability for who I am. 
Because, like, a lot of times we, we it's easy to point the finger and say, oh, yeah, because this person did this to me. But I always ask myself, what part did I play? What role did I play in this happening, even though it happened to me, even though I don't think that I, even though that wasn't my intent. But that's, you know, I still think about, well, you know, my mind, because sometimes we really be so fucked up till we be feeling like that's normal. Certain shit is normal. Or this is just how I am, and motherfuckers just got to accept it, and that ain't that. And that's what these last two, three years been about for me, like just accountability and really sitting with myself and just learning and, and you know, um, being aware of how I am and, um, you know, my lessons and not trying to pass certain things on to my children, you know, because a lot of things I got by default, I feel like I, you know, I, I don't, I didn't want to be certain ways. I didn't want to do certain things. I didn't want to be certain ways or, you know, be a certain person. Um, I didn't think I had to change shit. Honestly, shit, I thought everybody was like this. I thought, you know, certain shit was just, like I said, normal. But I realized, nah, bitch, you fucked up. Your mom fucked up. Your grandma fucked up. You, you know, like... Everybody got their shit with them. With their own, everybody family got their shit with them. And so, you know, and with us, it's a lot of girls, too, on my mama's side. So, you know, it, it, we, we, we fucked up. And um, so it be hard to accept that shit. And, you know, when you a spiritual being and, you know, you pray, oftentimes we pray for... You know, outside of things, we pray that uh, other people learn their lesson and, you know, they somebody, I pray they see what they done to me and how they hurt me and me and me and me. But a lot of things is really, it really is about you, but it's internal, you know. So um, that's your answer, twin. <laughs> uh, he got a food truck, y'all, too. So, um. At Brandon Miguel, what pivotal point experience made you change your mindset and grow into what we see today? That was your answer. All right, we going to move on. Okay, Anthony Jr. Hunt said, why don't our family and folks stand together anymore? Because... Um, we don't have that foundation like they had, you know, like our, you know, when you say like, um, like you say together anymore, you know, I'm assuming, you know, you comparing it to maybe how it was with your grandmother, you know, uh, you know, your cousins, uh, cause I can remember being in a room with all my cousins and going to sleep by my cousin's house and, um, you know, crying to go by my auntie and, you know, for the holidays, we all know what's, what place we going to, it ain't no fight about who bringing what you just bring your ass. That's it. You know, and we knew where we could go if shit got hard, you know, you I, I don't feel like we have that foundation no more. And part of the reason, honestly, is because of these grandmas. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to throw it on y'all because I just feel like these grandmas today don't be grandmoing. Period. Like our grand, And then they always want to compare some shit to when they was coming up. Like, oh, because when I was coming up, I kept a house. Bitch, your rent was probably $10. Please lay down. Oh, cause it wasn't like that when I was coming. Children stayed in their place, and children. Well, it was only twenty of them in a the room. That's where they had to stay, in their place, where all the children are. Now, it's always you and them, or you and her. I mean, so the place ain't really clear for real, you know, like, um. Yeah, I feel like it start with the grandmothers. Like, 
you know. And that's why I always speak about generational curses and um, you know, some how some things are just tradition. And if you are a parent, whether it be a single father or, you know, you in a relationship and you got your wife or your girl or, you know, you got your man or, you know, your or you a single mother with your children, it's important to make your own traditions. You know, have your have your own set of things because that's how that's what your children that's what your children gonna follow. You see what I'm saying? Like, if they don't have nothing to look forward to to you know to do, I mean, it'll forever be broken or gone. You know, we that's why they don't stick together. You know, or, or stand together no more. It's not. Is it ain't really been that. They ain't, we ain't really been seeing that for real. Like I, my children. No, probably one side of their cousins. Still be trying to figure out who mama is who. And we we didn't have to do all that. Like, we know who everybody was. These children don't be knowing half their family. You got to introduce them when you catch them somewhere and try to make them remember a little bit of small situation. Or remember when. Children be like, no. And I be so mad when my children do that because I feel like they be saying no just to be saying no to piss me off. But, um, yeah, I mean, they don't, they, grandmas don't be grandma anymore. Like, they don't, they still out, I guess. I mean, I don't know if it's the age. I don't know if it's the generation. I don't know if it's the time or what. But they still out doing their thing and, you know, have they man and, um, you know, Papa ain't, they ain't got no, they ain't got no, no, the, the grandfather foundation where the, the daddy, your Papa, the, the house paid for my mom walking around and she ain't got no worries. Grandma's still out, grandma's still out there these days, still working probably, you know, still not saying that everybody just, uh, all the grandmas just ain't shit, you know, but I mean, they ain't grandma and how the grandmas used to grandma. They ain't, they ain't not the support system that they had when they was coming up. That's what that that's what I'm getting from it. Like I don't I don't feel I feel like it start with that. And aside from that, everybody just be fake as fuck. Cause outside of foundation, it's just confusion. You know, it's confusion. Because even if, you know, when grandma and cousins, all us got together and shit, even with us people having their little little shit, their little spats and, and disagreements and their little times where this one not speaking or this one don't fuck with this one, we knew that the foundation was set. This is where we could come. This is where we could. This ain't got nothing to do with you and nobody else, this is grandma house. You know, like, this is grandpa house. This is, so, this is a neutral, this neutral grounds. This ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. So, you know, it ain't no, I ain't got to fuck with you to come over here, you know, to be here. And you ain't got to fuck with me to be over here. So, we all here, to, and we know ain't no starting no shit here. It, you know, it ain't no neutral ground. Is It ain't no big, that level of respect. Is just not there for the you know members in our family like maybe you know it was like it was before and um because of that air is like every man for himself it ain't no fam like we choose our family now because I mean blood makes us related but the relationship you know the trust the respect the loyalty that makes us family. For real. We could be sisters, cousins, you know, uh you could be my daddy, my mama, my uncle, whatever. If that level uh if that safe space not there, if that level of respect ain't there, if I don't feel for you, the title means nothing. Absolutely nothing. So it's just not like so you know to answer your question. Anthony Jr. Hunt. It just ain't like it was before. Like, 
you know, everybody be on their own shit. Everybody is every man for themselves. So that's why I think that it's very important for, you know, no matter how small you think, you or uh, uh, no matter how small you think your family is, even if, if it's just you and your two sons or you and whoever it is, I feel like it's important to build your little tradition and, you know, you'll have your little community, your little village, and do what you want to do versus looking for the old way or the, the things that is never probably going to come into fruition. You know, you're looking for it to be a way that it ain't been in years. So I think that it is very um, important to, you know, build your own tradition and, and do the things that you like to do and start your own shit. And that way, you know, you become what you looking for right now. Now everybody know, oh, Anthony got, he be, ha you know, he have Thanksgiving uh, every year. Even it been you and your children uh, for the first three years, but not, Y'all didn't, they didn't have children and, you know, they didn't have, they, they have their friends coming over. So now their friends know, now, you know, that's because that's how I go. And now everybody know, oh, all right. Yeah. Thanksgiving be over here. And it started from y'all, but that's, you got to start somewhere. You don't, I don't, that just waiting on certain people in the family. Oh, it ain't going to be nothing because this one ain't come. That, no, long as that, long as my, um, People are there who I um, genuinely care for and who I talk to and contact on a day-to-day -day basis. That's all that matters. That's the that's the new family. That's the family that you build to stand together. Just family, you know, that's uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, because that shit hurt. But, I mean... It ain't nothing to look forward to. Like, you know, look forward to your own shit. Do your own shit. Fuck the old way. Um, moving right along. Because I ain't trying to really stay on no family shit for real. Cause, uh, J.D. Morris. Look, y'all with these names. Hold up. Let me see how this shit go. Y'all is full of shit. J D M O R R I S O L O two. Are women with power threatened by men with potential? I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna read this shit again because I I don't I don't think I'm reading right or something. I don't hold on. Are women with power threatened by men with potential? Women with power threatened by men with potential. Power, potential. Power, potential. They don't ever go together. I mean, like, what the fuck? JD, what the fuck is we talking about? That don't even go together. That's the whole problem. Oh, women with power threatened by men with potential. Me with power threatened by you with potential. Everybody have potential. I could see some shit in you that you don't see in yourself. It's potential. But it stopped there. If you don't see it. So I mean, what is what is potential is just hopes and, and dreams. Is that stuck in the mind? Power. That's actually I got power. Why would I be threatened by something that you are doing nothing with? Whether it be yet or whatever the case may be. I already got power. It's no threat. I don't I don't think that um no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think that that even go together for real. I don't think it go together. I'm sorry, you know. Tell me if I'm tripping. Power potential. What you think, Shauna? <laughs> what you think, Jelly? <laughs> P 
power versus potential. Like, what are we talking? Jenny, you was high, huh? You had to been high. It's all right. I, I, I got you. J.D. Morris Solo, too. I guess. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit, don't go, together, that shit don't go together, my brother. My black king. It, it, don't, it don't go together. Um, I mean, because there's no reason to be threatened. Yeah, that shit don't go together. I'm sorry, it don't go together. Cause like, um, power versus, well, I mean, it's no, it ain't no threat. It's, it's no reason for a woman with power to be threatened by a nigga with potential. Okay, I'm threatened because of what you could do. No, I'm not even gonna try to wrap my mind. I ain't gonna ever try to do that. Fuck it. Um, Ebony underscore. Man down underscore Jefferson. Why women be so pressed after you leave the nigga and they get with him like he's brand new? <laughs> now, mind you, this is probably like the third question I didn't read like this. You know, it's all different ways, but it's one and the same. Same. Women. I told you, it's a, women, it's a woman thing. It is not a ex, you know, versus new bitch. Because every, every situation is different. Just like baby mama, baby daddy. There's no general rule. I feel like that can house baby mamas and baby daddies situation. You know, because it's all circumstantial. Like, bitch, we need a whole trial. It's case by case. It ain't no general situation. Ebony underscore man down underscore Jefferson. Why women be so pressed after you leave the nigga and they get with him like he's brand new? Um, I feel like I answered that already. Um, you know, we gonna be us. Women gonna be them. Uh, emotional beings in their feelings most of the time. Um, you know, thinking that he didn't grow magically into morphed into something overnight that he wasn't for her, and you know, cause I didn't felt like this before. Like I didn't, you know, built a nigga up and you know shipped them out, and I he ready for the world. Got them. I, it was like I, I'm always getting a nigga at their lowest and then build them up till they get to be somebody. And then that's why I, I always stress to y'all, once again, going back to all my old lessons and conversations, you know, about playing on an even playing field. You know, nothing is never going to be really, you know, as like we want it to be. But, I mean, at least start out with the same shit for real. And that way you don't feel... That way, it, you know, it's easier to let go, too. Like, you don't feel like you gave all you got and I nigga going, another bitch is reaping all the benefits from something that you helped build or uh, put blood, sweat, and tears in it and, and put time in. Nah. Next question. Treppy knee. T-R-3-P-P-I underscore knee. N-I-I. How often do I reassure my fiance that I won't cheat on him anymore? <laughs> uh, I was bad at fucking school. Man, listen. However, however much, however, however much, you know, that man require. And listen, and it's the same for women. Man, listen, fellas, if you're going to take a bitch back after they didn't did something or, you know, like cheated, like uh, tripping me, it's either you going to fuck with them or you not. Like, you can't take somebody back and then just hover that shit over their head, the whole relationship. At some point, you got to let it go. 
That's why, you know, niggas be like, yeah, I fucked up, but then you bringing up old shit. Nah, I can relate to nigga bringing up old shit if, you know, you totally, you know, you switched around and you doing like trippy asking, reassuring him. You know, it's only so much I could do. It's either you fuck with me or you don't. However, fellas, when you doing something that is familiar, you doing the same things that's familiar. You know, you 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 breaking patterns. You doing you doing the same shit that put me in a situation to have my red flag up, have my antennas up. Now, I gotta think about what could be going on. It's gonna bring automatically bring me back. That's a human natural response. It's gonna bring my mind and my body back to the time when. You did X, Y, Z because every, the circumstances is familiar, you know. So um, I think that the, the reassuring that is based off of, you know, what, how you feel. And because um, you can't just do some shit when you don't really feel like you need to do it because then it's fake. It's like you know what that person uh, like and really want a, a, a need to feel safe. Like you need to. It, it ain't really no 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 time frame. Is is depends on the person that you with. And last but not least, <laughs> MVK. Hey girl, that my friend. Um, can we meet in twenty twenty four? Of course, girl. Fly, this this a fly bitch right here. Yay, you know I'm coming because I I think you from Philly. You know I love Philly. I love Philly. Um, that's probably gonna be one of the first places. One of the first places that I stop when I do this tour. Um, bear with me. Don't rush me. Bear with me. You know, bitch. I keep my circle small. My team. You know what I'm saying? We it it's coming. We coming. We I'm I'm gonna get there. This year, 2024. You said 2024. Bitch, I want my hug and everything. Oh, yo. So, yeah, um, that was my questions. And I don't want to see now, bitch, ask me nothing in my DM after you see this episode. Because I asked y'all to ask me some questions, and that was the questions that I got. So, thank y'all for tuning in to the OG Cool. <laughs>